So, uh, uh, so after 1969, you know, the, the nation went through a period of uh, you know, despair. Despair. Were you aware of that since you were away or? Um, um, yes. I was seeing it. Seeing we it. was all seeing it. Because, yeah, the father that went away was a shock to us. You know, it was a shock to us that, you know, we lost our father, our leader. We lost, you know, Allah. You know, he's not with us no more. Somebody murdered him. Um, yeah, a lot of people started drinking more. A lot of people started using drugs more. Uh, you know, it's like, you know, when it, when it catastrophe, you know, trauma is something that affects all of us. And we all deal with it different ways, you know. When something, look at, you know, look how many, just, we just had COVID. Ever since COVID alone, a few years ago, look how many, look how that bred um, spousal abuse, all those reports. Look how COVID, you know, the despair that caused such a depression that people's drinking more. Look how more people's using drugs more. People became more isolated from other people in disassociation because of the, we was locked down. The only people that could truly cope with the lockdown was people that was used to being locked down that, that had prison experience. That was a nothing new to us. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, that situation alone was a shock to not just the American people, but the whole world. A lot of people were used to this. You know, I'm not used to it. We wasn't used to it, but I'm just saying, this is another thing we had to ride out. But it wasn't... But we rolled it out because, well, we've been riding for 400 years in America. You know, so we rolled that out and we're still here. We lost a lot of people along the way. But the blessings of life, the blessings of the law, and the blessings of self, because life is self, and everything that, you know, we're still here. You know, everything, that's why, you know, like when I say, I said, you know, Every day above ground is a good day. That's my motto. Mm -hmm. And you know, I see it as a blessing. Because the promise, the mom ain't promised to nobody. So, you know, I try to, you know, you know, this is a righteous nation. And that means, you know, you, you got to be a good person in a righteous way. Now, I'm not saying you have to be perfect or that you is, but no, nobody is. But do good and good come back to you. That's what this nation's about. And you do good mostly by getting educated because that's how you know what is good and what is not good because you're learning. Either the hard way or, 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 the, or the, if you ain't learned the hard way, you learn the easy way or the soft way, whatever. But you want to learn. You're going to learn either way, right? You're going to learn. I mean, I'm, the, I'm at the degree of, you know, God wisdom. I'm 72 years old. And, you know, as time go by, you know, like, you know, I was decade here, decade there, decade there. The same thing I thought in the 60s about something, the 80s, I might feel completely different about. Or I might feel the same way, but into a greater degree about it. See, that's why we say, understand, we tell people understanding years is in your 30s. But, and that's, that's a fact because, see, uh, things come to you more. Like now, I understand even more things that I thought I understood before, I understand better now. So, it's always a qualitative state of growth and development in our nation if you use mathematics, to stay conscious of stuff. If Mega did this.